So we're going out with, with this mosquito aspirator to kind of collect blood-fed mosquitoes. We'll bring them back into the lab and we'll kind of dress in park style, extract DNA from them in order to figure out what host animal they've been feeding on. Mosquitoes cause more deaths every year than all other uh, causes combined. The main reason is that it uh, needs blood of animals to lay its eggs and to persist in nature, but it became a very efficient way to transmit pathogens from animal to animal. So here in Florida, we have several mosquito species that are dominating the landscape. One of them is going to be Culex niger palpus that, that's really abundant in places like this. So when I was doing my master's research in the Philippines, I picked up dengue from probably an 80s Egypti mosquito. So then I spent about a week not eating, hanging out in an unair conditioned room, pretty miserable with dengue. It was probably the worst experience of my life. Ever since then, that kind of pushed me to study mosquitoes. is very conducive for mosquito breeding, especially this Aedes aegypti, which also uh, is very adapted to urban setting. It likes to breed in artificial containers. It likes to stay in people's homes. Infrastructure that we have built for ourselves, Aedes aegypti takes advantage. It's worrisome because it's the major transmitter of diseases like dengue, chikungunya, and Zika. A lot of mosquitoes under here. A lot of mosquitoes down here, too. You want to turn that off? Yeah, thank you. So. All right. Wow. There's probably 200 to 300 in here. So I'll put them on dry ice and then look through them under the microscope. Awesome. So we have to sort the debris from the insects that are collected. Here in Florida, an influx of new species coming in from around the world. Uh, so it, it is possible that through warming temperatures, our climate here in Florida is more suitable for these mosquito species to become established. What we know is that there's going to be this northward push of those warmer temperatures. So Aedes aegypti mosquitoes are constrained by certain temperature bounds. And as the climate warms, we're going to see that more months of the year are suitable for its survival and transmission of these diseases. Even a small amount of shift with climate change, we'll be encountering a lot of new, highly dense populations. And so more people will become at risk We genetically modified the mosquitoes and then we do genetics and testing on them. And the goal there is to either to design mosquitoes that can replace the population and persist or suppress and eliminate the population. When you release the mosquitoes with a gene drive, that it would naturally spread on its own, right? And so we think that would be a lot more efficient than trying to vaccinate every single person in an area. Mm -hmm.